good day. Trump is doing very well with this situation with North Korea and he's becoming popular. They talk about him as a possible peace prize winner. See? And uh, it's not always been like this. And this is a perfect time to gloat. I recommend you to gloat to your liberal friends. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to tell friends and anyone who will listen, I will tell them. You know, I supported Trump before he was elected, when nobody in Sweden liked him. I supported him. <laughs> Just gloat until they are blue in their faces. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, you know, people laughed at me for supporting Trump. People turned their backs on me because I supported him. But I still did it. And now you like him. Hmm, interesting. Good times. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you about another guy. He's probably, he's not very popular. He's probably one of the most despised men in Sweden right now. Yeah, people love to ridicule this guy. His name is Fredrik Reinfeldt. Yeah, he was the chairman of the moderate party, the old conservative party, and he was the PM of Sweden. And uh, he connected to the Bilderbergs, uh, and then he opened the borders of Sweden. That's what he did. Yeah. He is now the chairman of something called the Security Commission. Yeah. And they have a solution, they propose a solution to crime. And I, I probably have to take a deep breath before I report on this proposed solution. Alright, here we go. In the presence of mothers in streets and squares, criminals do not want to be there. That's the theory, that's the idea, you see? So, the best way to get rid of criminals is to make sure that citizens fill out the public spaces. And nothing is more effective than mothers being present. So how do you get the mothers to fill out these public spaces? Well, they, are, they have a solution for this too. Uh, you need toilets. Yeah. Yeah. Mothers, they like free and nice toilets connected to public spaces so this is what they want to provide and this will solve crime in Sweden make it more safe I warned you didn't I maybe I didn't but yeah you see and here's a quote from Mr. Reinfeldt he says in Sweden for almost 50 years <laughs> See? I'll do it again. In Sweden, for almost 50 years, as I have been able to follow in each case, we almost always focus on the perpetrator. We have asked ourselves the question, who is the offender? And uh, it's a man in the vast majority of cases. Now, where did he grow up? What was his childhood like? How has he been affected through life? How has his schooling been? How can, we, how can we make him change course? How can we make him choose another life? Yeah. Yeah, I feel sick too. That's what he says. And he says, some say the right way is to catch him, punish, punish him and extend the sentences. And others say, no, give him other opportunities, make sure he gets his education, that he gets a home, that he's got a life to look forward to. Yeah. Well, I have news for you, Mr. Reinfeldt. Sweden already is providing these things. Yeah, we have free education in this country. And housing. 
Well, it's not free, but for these guys it is. Yeah. So he wants the mothers to protect us. Yeah, like a human shield against the criminals. Or the criminals will just turn non-criminal in the presence of mothers. Yes, this is absolutely ridiculous. I can't say anything else about it. Right, be good. Bye.